Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is the Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to see when our videos release, just hit your notifications, and you'll know when everything comes out. All right, so Shop Element Series, Part 5, and it's one I've been looking forward to. We're going to get a good close look at my tool rack. This solves all kinds of problems that most tool racks have, but at the same time, a couple of extras here that are very cool. But before we go there, we're going to take a look at a product that, in my opinion, is extremely well designed and very well made. Sales pitch right up front, absolutely, but you're going to see where I'm going with this because I love our tool caddy. Designed by leather crafters for leather crafters, this has got some great pluses here. Now, the two places that this will be the biggest help. First off, for those of us who do not have a permanent workspace, we're on the kitchen table. We have to pull everything out, set up work, but then we've got to tuck everything because very likely we're going to eat dinner on that table. Everything fits right here. Secondly, if we're going to go mobile, again, everything fits here. We can take our whole kit with us. So, some pluses. Right on top, we've got holes for our mallets and mauls. We've got handles on either side. This is foam. This is cool. We're not restricted by hole sizes. So just about anything will fit in here. Yeah, here's some good examples. Our groover or edgers, our end punches or oblongs, our round knife, awls, and our chisels. Below that, we've got a tray here. We can drop in our spoons, craft knives, pens, and pencils. Below that, we've got an organizer, an absolute necessity for us, but we've got room there for some patterns or books. Now, I love this organizer. We have always got all kinds of pieces and parts. And this is actually kind of fun to set up. But now I've got room for my rivets, Chicago screws, line 24s. Got some turquoise rivets right there. There's all the blades for everything I use. There's all my setters. And again, it's kind of fun to set these compartments up. So overall, this is just a great product. Now, one more cool point. Whenever I go to our, our plant, into the leather warehouse where they're working on all the leather, most everybody there has a small magnet on their, on their workbench because they can drop their round knife in there. It's right there, but it's safe, it's out of the way. Very cool detail. In fact, yeah, there we go, we've got a magnet. Now, one point, and I feel like I just need to toss this out there. If we're moving this around or we're going mobile, let's take that knife off and either put that in our sheath or if we have room, let's just slide that down into our tool caddy. But overall, great product, very well made. As we progress in our craft, so will our inventory of tools. It is what it is. We always have more tools than rack. Well, we're going to cure that. In fact, most of, the, most of the stamp racks I see have a couple of problems. This cures every one of those. In fact, some we didn't even know we had. So let's start right here. Perfect example. I've got six stamp tools here. I've got six different shank sizes or handle sizes. That makes me nuts because I want to organize my tools. So right here, all my camo tools. There's my veiners, there's my, my basket weave, some of my geometric. If I have one size of holes, nothing is gonna work together. So what I've done is I've got three sizes of holes. So let's start right there. So my largest hole is about a half of an inch or maybe say about 12 and a half, maybe 13 millimeters. My next hole down, this is 3 eighths or about 9.5 millimeters, and our very smallest hole, quarter inch, or about 6.3 millimeters. So now, no matter what shank size I have, I can keep all of my tools organized. Now, this is just scrap lumber. This is simply a four by four. Right here, I've got one by fours, simply cut a 90 degree angle in these, and this is just a good piece of board. I like that because it's good and solid, it's sturdy. I'm not worried about this tipping. Now, one problem, we can secure this down. And it's a good idea because if this ever dumps, well, we're gonna immediately reorganize our tools. But nonetheless, it's a great rack. Now, our lower shelf, I can keep all kinds of stuff down here. And in fact, it really accumulates stuff. But my little, my little weight bag, I, I'm always tooling on my slab and my slab's right here. So a sponge is good, my swivels, there's some of the rouge and I'm always setting spots on my marble as well. So there's my little palette, and there's my knives, as well as spoons, pencils, awls, all kinds of things will fit into this. Now, here's a cool point. I did not really plan this, but the funny thing, 
my marble sits right in front of my tool rack. Well, obviously, that's how it's going to work. But I set my rivets on my marble as well. So if I have a belt and a lower tool rack, I've got to curl this where I try to set. You know what? That's a headache. With this, our straps and our belt simply slip right through. We set our rivets. It is super easy. So, again, a very simple tool rack to make, very inexpensive. We don't have to be woodworkers to create something that's going to work for us. Okay, we got a feel for this one. Let's jump over to my tool rack because there's a couple of upgrades here. Let's take a look at this rack in its natural, in its natural environment. My shop, the lighting in here, it's more for cutting than shooting, but we're going to be able to see what we need to see here. Secondly, I talked about how organized I like to be in my weaver shop. This is probably going to tell a different story. Anyway, so the big difference is here. I've added some extra length to my risers, so therefore I can drop in a piece of board. That's just a fence spindle or a riser, about one and a half by one and a half. So I can drill three quarter inch holes, or I think about 1.9 centimeters. So therefore now I have a resting place for my swivel knives. Down here, smaller holes, scribe, all pencil. But here's the coolest part. I mentioned we never have enough room. Now I've been collecting tools for years. And this really isn't an impressive collection to some of the shops I've been in. But here's the point. So I've got two screws on the back of my board here. So let's take another rack simply drop that on top. Now we have some ample room for tools and we can absolutely expand. But here's one good piece of advice. This is exceptionally sturdy. But nonetheless, let's secure this down. If you've ever dumped your tool rack, you know that particular pain. All right, so just one more. This is a cool little round hole rack because these seem to never have a home in my shop. So we can take two pieces of plywood, clamp them together, we can drill various size holes to accommodate whatever punches we have in here, separate them, small piece of wood, add a base, and now we've got a cool little rack for some tools that, like I said, never seem to have a home, always end up in a pile on my work table. But also, now I can see exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I hope this is good information for you. A couple of products or projects that are going to be a big help to us in our shop. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects.